Good morning, everyone. Welcome to AM Sports here with me, Muftau Nabila Abdullahi. And over the weekend, uh, Summer Tech 1996 were crowned champions of the Ghana Premier League after ending their season with 61 points. My colleague, Razak Muzpao, was at the coronation ceremony and has the details in this report. Based in the western region of Ghana and known for its rich timber resources, Summer Boy became the center of attention and celebration on Sunday, June 16, 2024. The local club, FC Summer Tex 1996, were crowned champions of the 2023-24 Ghana Premier League at the now famous in-century sports arena. Coronation march against the Kra Lions drew fans from near and far, all eager to witness this historic event. Founded in 1996 by the Summertex Timber and Plywood Company as a recreational football club, FC Summertex since made significant progress through various levels of Ghanaian football. However, after several unsuccessful attempts to qualify for the Premier League, the club finally secured promotion in 2021 thanks to strategic changes in management and technical staff along with bold vision to become a mainstay in the league and dominate same. In their first season in the Premier League, the Timber Giant finished a respectable 10th place, ensuring their place in the top flight for the next season. In our maiden uh, uh, season in the, in the Premier League, it, things were difficult. Obviously because we needed to learn, get experience as to how to play the Premier League. And of course, if you look at our um, location, it's, uh, it comes with a lot of disadvantage, especially playing away games. So we needed to adapt. When we were able to, you know, experience all these things, we now strategize. Determined to improve, the club hired experienced tactician coach Nuri Amadou after a rather unsuccessful attempt to lure coach Prosper Nato Ogum to the side. Coach Amadou will go on to lead the club to a historic Premier League triumph, clinching the title with two games to spare after defeating Bibiani Gold Stars on March Day 32. And despite already securing the title, the club ensured a memorable coronation match for the fans in the final game against the Crow Lions. Emmanuel Mama electrified the Incentre Arena by opening the scoring in the ninth minute. The first opportunity. Ball is brought back and then the shot on target. It's fine. Right Mind you, they were Just when out. fans thought there might be no more goals, the Ebenezer Papa Okran right sealed the victory with a strike one. in All the 87th minute. The Opportunity for Simon Tex now. The win brought their season total to an impressive 61 points in 34 games, 10 points ahead of second place the Crow Lions, who finished with 51 points. Following the match, was an impressive coronation ceremony which saw the Premier League trophy delivered by a drone to a young girl carried in palanquin amid a rich cultural display to the cheer of all the fans gathered. Coach Nuri Namadu and midfielder Emmanuel Keke, the win did not come as a surprise for his a testament to their hard work and dedication throughout the season. We have done the unthinkable. That is a dream come true. And uh, it's the feeling or the vision of any good coach or any coach in Ghana at least to 
to convert the, 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 the Ghana Premier League trophy. And then this has been our first time, our second year in the, in the league. And then as a, a, a young club like FC Summers, we are very grateful to our supporters, our board of directors, everybody. The feeling is just great. I think it was my day four that we realized we, we, could, we could win it. So even from our onset, we like before the season started, we reminisced about what we did the previous season. And we realized that if we do something uh, different from what we did the other season, like we could win it. But when we started, after Mad Day 4, we realized, no, if we put in much effort, we, we could win it. So we came together as a team again. We refocused and we, like, we, we redetermined ourselves that we, we could do it. And uh, God be so good, we've achieved it. The fans did not hide their joy and appreciation to the players and management of the club for what they described as a great honor bestowed on them and their town. They just came into their leg just last year. So that this is their second year and they are champions. That should tell you that they've done marvelously well. So we need to congratulate the, the, the team, the company itself, who has been their financial backbone and the fans. You can see the amazing stadium. It, it is a beautiful thing for some of us who come from DVC uh, to the league and they are and winning the league. And I'm very happy for them. I come all the way from Tema to come and watch Tema. Wow, you came all the way from Tema. Wow, I mean, FC Summertech's remarkable achievement is indeed a reward for the exceptional leadership of club CEO and financier Dr. Richard Dia in Century, along with the impressive team management and unwavering home support the team has since received. The club walks away with 500,000 Ghana City's cash prize, along with the honor of representing Ghana in the CAF Champions League next season. A challenge the club is already preparing for. It's not easy playing a Champions League, I must tell you. It. To be frank, it is not easy. So we are going to sit down and know the type of players who will help us in the Champions League. That's all. For the people of this beautiful community of Samra Boy, this is a moment of history that will continue to linger in their minds and hearts. To see their darling club clinch the Ghana Premier League title after only the second stint in the top flight is no means a small feat for the young and old who have gathered here and still here basking in this moment of glory it is going to be a long night of celebration a long night of fun and the hope of many more success to come there is the cup champions league to be played the fa cup to be played and even the ghana premier league to, to be played come next season the players, the technical team and the management have promised to beef up the squad and get the team in the best of shape to offer competitive football come next season. We will wait to see how that will fare for them. But until that comes, it is a moment of joy, of fun and pure entertainment here in Summer Boy. And just behind me, you are seeing a glimpse of that. Be find for the people of Summer Boy as Summer Techs wins the Ghana Premier League. Success for them means that uh, they will be representing Ghana in Africa in the next edition of the CAF Champions League. And uh, this summer, Ghana will be competing in the Olympic Games. The four by 100 meters relay team, they have qualified and also high jump, Rosie Eboa, has also been able to qualify after meeting the mark of 1.97 meters. Another athlete who has been able to qualify is Abdul Rashid. Ghana will be hoping that the country will win at least a medal in Paris later this year. President of Ghana Athletics, Bar Fusene, says that for a country to be able to win a medal or even get some respectable finishes in the competitions, he believes that the government of Ghana should invest in the athletes to, come to have the best of preparations. How do we get this athlete prepared for the Olympics? 
that is the question that the athletes are also demanding. So by Monday, we all represented our documents to the ministry. We call it the goal chase, right from the preparation up to the Olympic Games. But we have to uh, amend it again and add camping and competitions. So we want to bring the athletes, the 400 to Ghana to do the Eco World Championships. They have to also go to the African Championship. We have to get at least three or four competitions for them, high profile competition for them before the, the Olympics. The more they practice, the more they, the, the better they become, the faster they will become, the nervousness will, will reduce. So the only way we can get the Olympic medal but for, not, for them to run sub-38 is for us to give them more competitions, to give them more camping. So after school, after second week in May, they will be out of school and they will be out of competition. That is where it is critical that the state of Ghana have to bring these boys together, give them more competition. The only way we can secure the Olympic final and possibly get the Olympic medal in Paris for us to give the athletes more competition to camp them to support them financially so that they don't have to work some of them work in the train they don't have to work even in u.s some of them when they when they are on vacation getting a place to train is a difficult because the school is closed when the school closed they close down every facility to go and train then you have to go and pay to go and train these are some of the challenges that our athletes faces and for us if you are able to bridge that gap between second week or first week or t last week in May to the time we go to the Olympics. That is always a vacuum for our foreign-based athletes, those who are in the U.S. We have to move them to Europe, camp them in Europe for at least the whole July. In, Ju in summertime in Europe, there are a lot of competitions, a lot of competitions. Yeah. So if you camp them from first week in Ju July, to the time we went to Olympic Games, we can give them three or four competitions to run. Mm -hmm. That will make a lot of difference. But if you leave them as we normally do, they don't have enough competition in the US, they don't have enough places to train, they also have to go and work and survive. So they don't have 100% training for opportunities. That's why when they come to international competition, they don't perform as they were performing before the yeah. Their performance always dip. And it's not their problem. It is the problem of the state. And that financial model too is more than what the federation can support. It's just like asking football, a GF, excuse me to the GF as an example, that go and prepare your national team for World Cup. GFA alone cannot do that. It's always government comes in to support them. It's the same thing that the national team also, also requires. We are not requesting the same financial support, no. But it will be unreasonable. But we also need considerable support.